Hey there, hackers. So, I was lucky enough to come across my old computer from years ago that I got in, like, 2010 or 11 or something like that, maybe? Now, this thing seems to have some problems with it, and it's... It's got the files on there, I think so. It's just that it's not booting up. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull this out, replace the hard drive in there, and then try to install something awesome on it, like maybe Haiku or BSD or Temple OS, which probably won't run, but, you know, you never know until you try. Let's go. Take this one. Okay, here's the hard drive on the other side. Yeah, I'm taking off the screws right now. So this has its own little shield that holds everything in place. And it, okay, I'm just going to actually throw these in here too. Why not? Because unlike other parts on the laptop where it might just be able to stay in a little hole, these ones just kind of come right out. And that's about that. Let's grab this. Okay, if I actually can pick stuff up. Yeah, we should be good to go. So notice this, Seagate Drive. I am so scared of this thing crapping out on me because that's what Seagate does. And so I'm just going to take a look and see if I can be able to uh, detach the drive from this and then maybe hook it up to my WD drive when putting it in there. So here it is, the WD Blue. Pre-opened for my own personal pleasure. 250 gigabytes. It's really cheap. You get it for like, what, 40, 50 bucks on Walmart? All right, so yeah, we have the side screws that we can screw this sucker into there. And these require some elbow grease. Don't ever do this. Don't ever leave stuff like that just lying around. You need a container to put it in. Otherwise, something's going to happen. You're going to bump it. You're going to lose all your screws. And you're going to go screwy. This fits right into it. So all I need to do is just screw it back in, plock it back in. Okay, this thing's on the enclosure. Let's see if it'll fit in. There you go. You're not going anywhere. All right, now to put on the rest of the encasement. And I think that this ought to be good. Now, the stress test to see if we've lost any screws. Hey, I did a fantabulous job. Now time to put in the battery, plug this sucker in, turn this on, and pray that something works. Yay, I didn't short it out. That's great. So that was great. Looks like it works out. Now I'm just going to mosey on over to my computer over here and try to make a bootable image USB thingy majibber. But I'm going to make it of NetBSD. So let's go. So guess what? Mm. I filled up my USB stick with NetBSD, and I'm going to go ahead and just plug it into this crazy computer, see if it works, and because I haven't really ran it in years, make sure that I don't burn the house down in the process because this thing really smells funky. Let's go. Well, it looks like it's going very fast here. And the rest is just kind of like following your regular NetBSD uh, setup. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Hopefully that was helpful. Have fun. 
and hey hey. <laughs>